Hey guys, it's Erica here from Big Cat Creative and today I'm going to show you a few different ways you can display your portfolio on your Squarespace site. This is something I get asked about quite a lot and for good reason, portfolios are seriously important. But they're also very varied, as in a portfolio for a photographer is going to look a lot different than a portfolio for a copywriter. So today I'm going to give you a few different options that I think are great and you can choose which one would work best for your type of business and your portfolio content. So let's jump in. So the first method to creating a portfolio on your site is to use your existing blog and separate your portfolio by categories. So this is actually what I do on my site and this is really good for people who probably don't have really extensive portfolios as they will be sort of mixed in with regular blog posts. But I'll just quickly show you this because this is suitable for some people. So I have my blog here with a couple sample posts. And if you wanted to add a new item, you just add it just like a regular blog post. But in the settings, you'd want to add a category and you'd want the category to be something like portfolio or gallery or whatever you wanted to call it. So I'm going to choose the portfolio category for this post, click save, and I'll just refresh my blog. And here under the categories toggle, you'll see that there's three categories, one blogging and the second one's portfolio. So when I click on portfolio, it's going to filter out all of the other posts and just show portfolio items. I have a video on how to actually link to blog categories using this drop down and also just using regular links. I will link that below the video if you're not sure how to do that. But that is one way to add a simple portfolio to your site. So this is an example on our website, bigcakecreative.com. On our blog, we have a ton of different blog posts, but we also have showcases sprinkled throughout. And if you head over to our categories, you can check out all of the different tips or you can look at the template showcases. And this is just gonna filter out all the showcases. So much like a portfolio, this is how using the blog with the different categories works. The next method is similar, but probably better if you have more portfolio items or if you want to get more eyes on your portfolio. And this method is particularly good for people using Squarespace 7.0 because in Squarespace 7.1, you actually do have a specific portfolio feature that is quite similar to this method. And I'm going to show you that next, uh, but you should watch this anyway, because there are some differences. And definitely watch this if you are using Squarespace 7.0 because you don't have that same portfolio 7.1 feature that I'm going to talk about next. So this method is just using your own separate blog as a portfolio. So I obviously already have my regular blog here, but you can actually have as many blogs as you want on your Squarespace website. So if you wanted just to create a portfolio blog, you could do that. So I'm going to create a new blog by clicking plus choose blog. I'm just going to choose blog two, but it doesn't really matter because we can adjust the layout. If you are using Squarespace 7.0, you won't even need to choose a layout. And I'm going to call this one portfolio. So now we actually have a blog specifically for our portfolio. This is actually set up really well for a portfolio. So in 7.1, you can adjust all of the page sections depending on what template you're using for in 7.0, it will work a little bit differently, but hopefully you know how to use your own template and how to add a blog and adjust the blog settings. But what's cool about using your a separate blog for your portfolio is that you can actually add categories for your portfolio information. So just like the blog, how we had different categories, we could add something up here saying the portfolio and we can have that category drop down again. Like if you're a photographer, you could have portraits, weddings, family, and separate them by different categories or, you know, whatever your line of work is, it might be helpful to have different categories for different portfolio items. Then if you click into the blog posts, you can edit these posts pretty much any way you'd like. You can add images, text, any sort of blocks that you'd be able to add around the site anywhere else which makes these portfolio items actually really detailed. You could do full case studies. Um, and then one feature I quite like is that you can actually 
go to the next post, which would be the next portfolio post. So using a dedicated blog as your portfolio actually is a really good solution. One I highly recommend, especially if you're using Squarespace 7.0. I want to show you this gorgeous example of how to add your portfolio by using a separate blog. This one's on Squarespace 7.0, but again, this could be done in either or. And this, this is by Blink Films. She's actually using our Unearth Squarespace template kit, um, but she's transferred the blog into a portfolio, which is beautiful. And you can also see that she's used categories, weddings, elopements, and lifestyle. So if I click on one of the categories, it's going to filter everything out from that category. And then you can actually click in to each individual project. And she has the title here. She has a video of the actual video she created for the wedding and some information about it. And then of course you have those back and forth arrows, which are really cool. We could just immediately go to the next portfolio item. So I love the way she's done that using our Unearth template. Now the other alternative in Squarespace 7.1 only is the new portfolio pages. So I've actually recorded a full tutorial on using portfolio pages, but I will show you quickly what they're like. They are very similar to adding a separate blog, but not quite as robust as the blog. You can't add tags and categories. You can't add blog drafts. So there are some limitations to using this new portfolio feature. On the other hand, there are a lot of advantages. Uh, the portfolio project pages are actually totally customizable, even more than a blog post. You can add really extensive galleries. So I'll just quickly show you. I'm going to add a portfolio here. Again, you can choose a layout, but this can be completely edited. So it doesn't really matter which layout you choose. I'll leave this one as portfolio two. And as you can see, it does look very similar to the blog we just set up. The difference is here in the actual projects. If you go into the project settings, you'll notice there's a lot less settings than a regular blog post. But if you actually go into the project to edit the individual projects, you'll see that it is completely editable like any other Squarespace 7.1 page. So you can add full galleries, text, and complete page sections, which is very exciting, especially for portfolios that need lots of imagery or graphics, as there's tons of different gallery options, much more than what you'd get in a regular blog post. So if you're, if you're interested in this portfolio feature, make sure to check out the link below. I will link my full tutorial on it and how to completely edit the portfolio page for your business. And that's it for three different ways to easily add a portfolio to your Squarespace site, whether you're in Squarespace 7.1 or Squarespace 7.0, there's definitely something that you can use here. And I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, let me know down below. I also included all of the different resources I talked about in this video in the description below. So definitely check those out if you need a little bit more guidance in some areas. Otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.